What's going on future welders and future business owners? It's Danny here of Danny's Mobile Welding. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing some welding on a galvanized steel boat trailer. A lot of it is still good. It's to just take uh, the pieces that rotted out and just replace them, weld it up. And um, it's more expensive for my supplier to send it out to like Florida and get it galvanized, the, the steel, because they don't have it on hand. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting some uh, galvanized steel spray on the uh, frame. Here, this is um, Galvalox spray. It's like $16.95 where I got them. I'm sure I can get them cheaper online. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, hopefully it works. They said, you know, they swore by it, so we'll put it to the test. Anyway, in the meantime, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fueling this up and uh, getting some supplies down at the hardware store just so that you know not only do I have enough on hand for this job I'll have enough on hand over the weekend and um, you know I won't have to worry about it being Sunday or being late and the store being closed because I do this 24 7 so let's go ahead and get it I'm not getting fuel here because these prices are outrageous I know it's backwards because I'm using the front cam but these prices are outrageous, so I'm not getting fuel here. We'll go somewhere else. All right, guys, just got back from the hardware store and we got some supplies. I ended up getting uh, some more uh, extension cord, a new face shield, and uh, you know some grinding discs, um, markers that write on steel, just so I have I can mark better. I got bolts up so I can, you know, I got uh, nuts and bolts so I can bolt up my vise. Um, I had it off for a little bit because the bolts kind of sheared off. They were like crappy bolts that just came with the truck when I bought it. So, um, we got our supplies and now we're headed to No Ink. That's Groton Long Point and uh, we're going to go bang this out. So, let's get it. <laughs> guys I got the work site set up just about ready to turn on the machines and get ready to go this is what we got this beam is completely well damn near completely rotted out so I ended up getting this uh, square tubing to replace it and you could pretty much see what I'm trying to achieve here I'm gonna I am gonna bend it probably make a few slices in there and um, not completely but some halfway slices that way I could bend it a little easier and um, the same thing on this side now I know most people would be like hey why don't you just take the piece and just bend it well I don't really have a means to bend this uh, this metal it looks uh, it's probably like three sixteenths, maybe quarter inch thick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wire brush that, and um, then I'm gonna make some cuts and see see where uh, where I gotta make my bends, and we'll figure it all out. Anyway, stay tuned, guys.
Whew. All right, guys, so it's six hours later and uh, we're done. We finally finished. This was the first boat trailer frame that I really ha ever had to do. So I had to call my buddy, John the Welder. Uh, he's one of my subscribers. That's how I met him on through YouTube. And uh, he gave me some advice on how to go about bending the metals to uh, conform to the pieces that I'm taking off. Um, so anyway, I'll just get straight to it because I got to go back to the room and get a room before, I mean, go back to the hotel and get a room before, um, they're all taken up, all the good ones. So here, here you can see, uh, yeah, it's like it was, it's like it never happened, right? So that's this section from here on out. As you can see, I made these little slices in there and that helped me bend it and conform it to the to that angle over there back here I did the same I think it came out pretty nice that galvanized paint that I used it's pretty good it's a heavy can it has a lot of pressure in it so you gotta so you gotta back off on it or else you're gonna get those paint streaks but it's pretty good and as you can see it blends pretty well like you can't even tell I'll do it closer It's not too shabby. All right, guys. Well, you know what time it is. I got to go. I got to get some rest and uh, got to go edit some videos so you guys can stop complaining about me not welding or doing much. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Take care and thank you so much for supporting. Like and subscribe. Peace.